in today's lesson, I want to talk about one of the comments I hear most often and my response to that, that comment. So what I hear is, Milo, you don't want us to put any torque on the golf club early in transition. Now, my response to that comment is, I want you to put maximum torque on that club early in transition. How we do it is where I differ, differ from other golf instructors out there. You know, there are many ways to swing a golf club. None of them necessarily right or wrong. Some of them are a little more efficient than others and can produce more speed. And that's what I'm after. I want you to max out the amount of speed that you can put into the golf club. And the way I go about doing it, I find that my players max out their speed. So the, a lot of people are, are asking me or telling me, Milo, we need, you need to accelerate your arms early in transition. It's, it's a proven thing. And I did a video on this and I'm still getting commentary. So now I, I wanna make it a little clearer so you can kind of see where I'm coming from and what I actually want. So let's start with other sports and other activities that we do. I want to start, imagine I'm a shot putter. I've got the shot in my hand here and I'm gonna throw it. How do I throw it? Do I push my arm first or do I first start moving and then throw my arm? Okay, that's one example. Same thing, let's say I'm a javelin thrower. I'm gonna throw that javelin, I get everything moving and then I throw the javelin. Another example. Let's say I'm a weightlifter. Imagine this is really heavy and I'm going to clean it. Do I lift it with my arms really fast or do I first get it moving, get it on my, on my waist here, bounce it, drop under it, and now from here I shove it with my big muscles, get it moving again and fall under it and extend my arms. Because my arms are the fastest thing I have. They're not the strongest and they can't produce the most torque, but they can move the fastest. So I'm gonna give you an example of athletic sequencing and the, the torque that it can create versus when I get the sequence out of order. So in the first example here, I'm going to try to move my arms and my body together and see how much power I can put into this. I've got about 100 pounds on here. Okay, now in the second example, I'm going to have my arms still working away when I begin to group work into the ground and unwind my arms against my body and then sling them off. So you can see that's a lot more explosive. I think you're catching on. You're getting the idea of what my idea is. So what I'm looking for is in transition, I want the big stuff to generate the early force, it can actually accelerate much quicker and I don't spend the energy of my arms early. <clears throat> now, people have told me, but the guys on tour are accelerating their arms. They're going 25 miles an hour by P5.5. Yeah, I get that. But if you actually go through and look at the guys who are the fastest, their arms, their lead arm is adducting in transition. What that means is it's actually getting more across their chest in transition, not coming off their chest. So here we have a couple of examples from my favorite sport for athletic motion, baseball. And you can see this player's hands are moving up as his body is starting to unwind. That's key for being able to sling those arms fast. And here you can see it again. This player's body is beginning to unwind but the hands are still moving up and back. So here we have some examples of golfers that exhibit the exact same movement patterns as the baseball players. Their hands are moving up as their body's transitioning down and all these guys create a lot of speed. 
So here we have Tiger demonstrating the same motion. Rory, you can really see his hands moving up as his pelvis starts to go. Now you can find examples of tour players whose lead arm is coming off their chest early in transition. They're generally not as fast. The fastest guys in transition, their lead arm is actually getting more against their chest. There's a, there's a torque being put into their, their club, but the torque is being put into their club not by the hands and arms that early. I just want you to understand that what I'm trying to teach is athletic motion. It's what you do in every other game. Can't think of any game where I accelerate my arms early and then try to accelerate my body to keep it going. Just not how it works. 